Large language models work on large data sets. Sometimes these data sets are huge. For instance, if you go to Hugging Face website and you click on at the top, you click on these data sets, you would see that there are various data sets of various nature. Some are domain specific, some are general, some are simply synthetic, some are merged of other data sets, but you will find data sets of every kind. Now, sometimes you just want to want a trim data set or uh, some columns of the data set or sometimes you just want to shuffle the data set. In that case, um, you can use Hugging Face on open source library called as datasets. In this video, I'm going to use this data set, which consists of Xif abstract 2021. All you need to do is to just click on this icon and it will copy this whole value. So I'll be using Hugging Face data website. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to install it locally on my Ubuntu system. You can use the same commands for Windows or any other Linux flavor or in Mac. And then I will show you how you can play around with these data sets from Hugging Face locally. So let me go to my Ubuntu terminal. First step we need to do is to install the data sets uh, module from Hugging Face. Simply type this command pip install data sets dash dash upgrade and it will install it if it is not already present or upgraded. Let me clear my screen and let me show you my data sets version. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. So it is using 2.16.1. Let me clear my screen. That is all you need to do to play around with these data sets as a prerequisite. Now let me fire up my Python interpreter. There you go. First thing we need to import our load data set. So let me do that. So from data sets, import load underscore data set. That's done. And now let me load my data set, which I just showed you from Hugging Face. And you don't need to specify any URL or anything. Just specify um, your data set name in this format and that will uh, load the data set on your local system. So let's press enter and it is, uh, it has already downloaded it because I loaded it from a previous video, but you might see that it is, it might take bit of a time as it downloads it first time. Okay. Now let me show you what data set is there. So you can see this is a data set which contains around 2 million rows and it has all of these columns, which I also showed you on the hugging face website. Now let's suppose instead of all of these columns, which are mentioned here, like ID, submitter, author, and so on and so forth, we just need ID column, title column, and abstract column. In order to do that, all we need to do is to run this command. So here we are using Python's own Lambda function in order to map these ID with ID, abstract with abstract, and title with title. So let me press enter here. And now if you print data, So it is still showing you that because we are still uh, haven't removed the remaining column. So let me remove that. So the command we are going to use is called as data dot remove columns. And now if you print data, there you go. So we only have ID title and abstract uh, remaining and we still have our 2 million rows. Now, if you want to show you any one row so let's start with the zero one and you can see that it has just id title and then abstract and nothing else if you want to save this new data set to your local system all you need to do is to run this command data to json and then just give it any name to the new json file json it prints it a new line all the json entries and then press enter and you can see that it is saving to your local system. It is also showing you ETA here, which is just seven seconds now. Let's wait for it to finish. And that is done. Let me exit from this interpreter and show you that file on the local system. So if I do ls-ltr, there you go. It has just created it, my xf.jsonl file here. And then there are a lot of other functions which you can use with this data set. 
and let me take you to the documentation of this data set library there you go so you can not only load this data set you can shuffle it sort it split the rows and then you can also filter the rows with various criteria for example if you just want to select these rows when you do that this is just going to give you six rows and that we can do in our own data set too and this is quite handy if you have a text data if you just want to say that okay only give me um, the rows which starts with AR you can use this function and that is going to just give you that data set it's very very powerful and I'll also drop the link to this in video's description I hope that you enjoyed it if you have any question or if you have any other novel idea around it please share it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much